A village is a place where you can find peace, unity, strength, inspiration, and most importantly, a natural and beautiful life. So, have you been to a village before? Do comment below and let us know which village have you visited and what were your thoughts about it. So today, I'm going to present you a beautiful village at Malaysia which is located at Perak State. If you skip the video, you'll miss something interesting about today's vlog. Before that, please do share, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. On 7 November 2020, Around 1 p.m., roving around the roads of Sungai Siput Selatan. Kampung Sungai Siput Selatan is a new village located on Kampar, Pera. In the early days of Sungai Siput Selatan's development, this area used to be a small town due to its abundance of tin mines which attracted many Chinese miners. The people who lived there also decreased once the tin industry declined. Moreover, due to the lack of visitors and experiencing many confrontations between the British colonial government and the Communist Party, the small town evolved into a Kura new village and it consists of hundreds of years of history. The village that are utilized by the villagers for agricultural purposes. The soil is used to plant crops, such as pomelos, to be harvested and sold every three months. And the lakes have been transformed into fish ponds to farm fish to sell to the people outside the village. The new village also has a great geographical location which is surrounded by mountains and lakes. Among the village, less than 200 residents, most of them are Chinese from the Guangdong province. Most of them are Buddhists, and there is a temple dedicated to the deity Guan Yin within the village, which has more than 120 years of history. The village is equipped with basic infrastructures consisting of several convenience stores, a police station, mailbox, a children's playground, community hall, as well as a primary school in the village named SJKC Sin Min Sungai Siput S.
the village has a good natural scenery. Fresh air and quiet life in the village. All these things come to our mind once we think about the village of Sunai Siput Selatan. But every village has its story, and Sungai Siput Selatan is no exception. The sad side of the village is it lacks exposure and entertainment from the younger generation. The villagers give more importance to agriculture, unlike sports, computer studies. Since the villagers use their space mainly for agriculture, So, students are likely to lose their talents due to the lack of proper facilities, such as sports courts, computer cafes, fields, and etc. So, locals miss the opportunity for entertainment or attractions. The two main infrastructures of the community are a police station and a primary school. Comprising more than half of the community being the elderly, they do not have nearby clinics or hospitals. Hospitals and clinics are a very important need, but there are no clinics surrounding the village. In any case of any emergency, the villagers would have to travel a few minutes or even hours to a clinic or hospital. Apart from that, the reason we decided to do a vlog about this village is to let more youth know about Sungai Siput Selatan. So that this village can be exposed in a way that sparks the interest of the younger generation, such as multimedia.
Meanwhile, to make the village to attract more visitors. When there are more visitors, an arrangement of interesting activities or entertainment will naturally flow to keep the visitors coming and let the village flourish. Also, to develop the village in order to facilitate the villagers. The more visitors, the livelier. And the faster the village develops. So the main focus of this vlog is to let more younger people to know about the Sungai Sipu Selatan village which is located at Kampar Pera, Malaysia. It's to discover and spread awareness about this village by producing and showcasing this vlog about this village. So if any university students are trying to shoot about the village for assignment purpose, please kindly visit this village and uh, make this village famous. Thank you. Hi. From what we saw in the video, Sungai Siput Selatan is not known too much to the younger generation. They need more youth for the village to prosper. Most of the youth of the village have moved out to seek for more job opportunities. But what if we made more job opportunities for them locally? Hello everybody! By capturing the nice scenery as well as showcasing the special characteristics of this new village, we hope that it has made it more attractive to our viewers. Hopefully this sparks your interest to know more about the new village and even be interested to visit it in the future to see it in person. Hi everyone! Um, there has some issue that this village has and one of the issue is the village has very less infrastructure and the main infrastructure of them is a police station and a primary school only not even have a clinic or hospital so if the villagers got sick they have to travel a long way to the nearby city which is very inconvenient for the villagers who are mostly elderly hi everyone so the purpose of this vlog is to let Sungai Sipu Selatan to have a better development in order to facilitate the villager. It is because the facilities of Sungai Sipu Selatan is not complete which is only consists of a police station and a primary school. This means that the villager of Sungai Sipu Selatan need to travel for some distance to a nearby village to purchase their basic needs. So, this vlog is to help Sungai Sipu Selatan to attract more visitors in order to have a better development. Finally,
life we put through our time remains nostalgic about the good old days for those who have lived before in the village. My dear subscribers and those who are watching now, please arrange your own date and time to visit this wonderful village. Come and visit the village and go back with sweet memories.